condition. Today, I will show you the eight stages of bread making and the proper preparation of yeast breads using the straight dough method. I hope you still remember our topic about the characteristics of the common ingredients used in bread making because that will serve as your guide for our topic. Before we start, here are the learning targets. I can identify the stages of bread making using the straight dough method. I can describe the stages of bread making. Straight dough method is the process of making dough using ingredients and they are all combined in one kneading session. We will be preparing donuts. These donuts can be fried so you don't have to worry if you don't have an oven. So, let's start. For this donut recipe, you will need Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one fourth cup of white granulated sugar, three fourth teaspoon iodized salt, three fourth cup lukewarm water, two teaspoons of white granulated sugar, one egg, and two tablespoons of oil. Take note that there are two types of dough: the lean dough and the rich dough. For this recipe, we will produce a lean dough, which is low in sugar and fat. But if you want richer and softer donuts, you may replace 3 4 cup of lukewarm water with 3 4 cup of lukewarm milk and replace 2 tablespoons of oil with 2 tablespoons of butter. First stage is called the mise en place. Mise en place involves sifting and measuring of ingredients. Mise and plus means putting everything in place. So we must prepare all the ingredients and tools that we will be using for this bread making session. As a review, here are some guidelines of how to measure dry and liquid ingredients. Second stage is mixing of ingredients. In a bowl with two cups of flour, add one fourth cup of white granulated sugar and three fourth teaspoon of salt. Mix and set aside. In a separate bowl, dissolve 2 teaspoons of yeast to the lukewarm water. Add the other measure of white granulated sugar, which will serve as the food for our yeast. Sugar helps to activate the yeast faster. Wait for at least 5 minutes or until the mixture foams up. This means that the yeast has activated. Add the egg. Mix. and combine this mixture to the dry ingredients.
is kneading. To prepare for kneading, dust some flour on a flat surface and place your dough. At this point, the dough is still sticky. Add 2 tablespoons of oil and start kneading. To better handle the dough, we have to knead it. Kneading is manipulating our dough to strengthen the gluten in the flour. This gluten builds the structure of our bread. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes. To properly knead the dough, fold the dough with your fingers and use the heel of your palm to push the dough away from you. I call this method the fold-push method. Be careful not to knead too much as this will create tough breads while lack of kneading will make your bread flat and dense. You can tell that your dough is properly kneaded if The dough is smooth and elastic, or when you poke the dough, it will spring back. When your dough is properly kneaded, put it in a bowl with oil, form it into a bowl, and cover. This will be ready for fermentation. Fourth stage, fermentation. This refers to the first rising of the bread where we wait for it to double in size. On this stage, carbon dioxide is produced by the yeast and this gas will be trapped inside the dough. This will create a lighter texture to our donuts. This will take about 20 to 30 minutes or when you poke the dough, it will not spring back. Stage 5 is molding. Molding is the stage where we shape our dough into our desired shape and size. Before molding, make sure to remove excess gas from the dough by punching the dough flat or you may use rolling pin. This is done to avoid hollow bread. After this, we now shape our donuts. Divide the dough and work on it one at a time to avoid overhandling. Flatten your dough with a rolling pin and start molding into your desired shape. You can create different types of donuts. For ring donuts, you can use a donut cutter. Or if you don't have one, you can use a glass to shape your dough. You can also fry those small pieces of dough or you may reshape them.
This is another way of creating ring donuts. Form the dough into a ball. And using your finger, make a hole at the center of the dough. You can also prepare donuts without a ring, and these are perfect if you want donuts with filling. You can also create donut bars. Stage 6 is proofing. Proofing is letting the dough rest and rise for the second time. Stage 7 is frying or baking. If you plan to bake your donuts, preheat the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit before baking. For frying, Make sure your oil is ready before frying at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Most of us don't have thermometer, so here are ways to check if your oil is ready. 1. Place the handle of your wooden spoon. If you see many bubbles and they start to float, the oil is ready. 2. Prepare a small piece of dough and place it in the oil. If it bubbles up, the oil is ready. 3. Fry your donuts about 2 to 3 minutes per side or until you get a brown crust. I also prepared chocolate donuts with this recipe. I just subtracted 1 fourth cup of flour from the recipe and added 1 fourth cup of cocoa powder. The measure of the rest of the ingredients are just the same.
And last, stage A, is cooling. But of course, we want our donuts to be presentable. Here are some variations that you can make with your donuts. Combine 3 egg yolks and 3 tablespoons of white sugar. Beat until the mixture turns light yellow. Then add 1 cup of milk, 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. You can also add vanilla extract. Mix this until the flour dissolves. To cook your custard, pour a few inches of water into a casserole and set a shallow bowl on top. Make sure that the bottom of the bowl is not touching the water. Cook your custard cream filling until thick. To check if your custard is ready, do the 5 second drip test. Check your custard with a spoon or with a whisk. If the mixture does not drip for 5 seconds, then it's ready. Cover with a cling wrap and let your custard cool. For the sugar glaze, just add 2 tablespoons of milk for every 1 cup of confectioner's sugar. You can also add vanilla extract. This recipe is just a mix. You can replace vanilla extract with different flavor essences and you can add food colors too. Here are some ways to decorate your donuts. You can also decorate your donuts according to your preference. The possibilities are endless. And you can melt some chocolates to serve as your glaze.
And now, we're done! You can refer to this donut recipe, let your creativity work, and make your own version of donut. Experiment with the ingredients available at your home and enjoy the process of making bread. Just always remember that whatever you do, do it the CSMA way. Do it with passion, with care, and with love. Follow-up activity will be posted together with this video. See you on our next meeting. Bye!